Hello, my name is Kevin and I run TheoryIsTheReason.com. Now previously we had devices that did this thing called time shifting, where it allowed you to play pre-recorded material um, at a later time. Basically you delay a live broadcast just by recording it and watching it later. Now we have this newer term that's called play shifting, and the idea plays off time shifting basically. But what happens in play shifting is that you take video content that you know might might be through your cable or through your satellite dish and basically redirect it through the internet so you can watch it anywhere in the house or even outside in the office whatsoever. Um, there are many devices that do play shifting nowadays and um, the most popular one would be the Slingbox, the Sling Media's Slingbox. Um, there's also this Sony location free player, okay, which comes in various versions, various iterations, um, as well as, you know, there's even one new one called the Hava Snappy, or the Snappy Hava. So they're basically these three set-top solutions that um, play shifts your content. Um, there are also software-based and card-based uh, solutions um, that work in your PC, um, but for today, we'll be talking all about the location-free unit. Now, so I have a Linksys router, okay. It's the WRT54G, okay. It's a, it's a lot of people's choice of routers. Um, I've got a little Vonage box here, and my cable modem, it's Motorola, and of course this is the location-free player unit. All right, as you can see, it's doing its thing. Just go back here. Um, don't know if you can see it. See, I have a cable connection going on there from the wall okay and digging in I also have a little splitter that splits it into two let me see here into two um, you know connections so one of which goes into the cable modem over here and the other one goes to the Sony location free player okay just to show you what's behind, how I got it all hooked up, um, as you can see here, I've got, let me just pull this aside, alright, okay, so you can see that there's the ethernet connection that goes to the router, I've basically also got the power plugged in at the bottom next to the cable connection. I didn't hook up any other video equipment to it um, because you know I don't I don't have any other major video equipment that I really want to hook up. So these three cable connections are really all you need to get started. Right now I have three location free players, believe it or not. Um, I have one that of course exists on my PSP. I've updated it to the firmware 2.7 so it comes with the location free player. Um, I also have one that exists on the Windows side, which comes with um, with uh, the location-free player. All right, this this is what comes free with it. All right, and you can see basically there's connect, base station settings, web support, and properties. Notice that once your your base station is set up on your network, this software detects it and actually shows it there. All right. So, what happens here is if I were to hit connect, you see that it's connecting base station, connects through net AV. And after that it says wait. And there you go. So, just to run down the interface a little bit. This shows you the channel over here. This is the volume and there's like minimize maximize so you can you can maximize it okay i've got a wide screen here that's why you know four by three doesn't show up very well but i mean just shows the two bars but that's fine this is the close window and then there's the different videos settings which uh, you have tv video one video two just click on those to start those you have settings over here volume mute Rate, rate is interesting. Rate lets you pick how much compression you want. So if 
I picked 6 which is the highest, then it's supposed to show the best video quality. The lower one would be for situations where you have a very bad connection but still want to hear at least hear something. Alright? These are the manual settings. You can also set it to auto and that way um, it will automatically decide what's the best uh, compression for you. All right. Just to give you an idea, um, you're watching the video um, stream as an MPEG-4. That's Sony's choice of uh, video streaming. Um, then there's the remote. If you hit remote here, you get this little remote and you can punch in you know, what channel you want to watch and all that. And uh, basically connect and disconnect at the bottom over here. All right. um, just to also let you see how you can manage this window, you can resize it just by going down here. Okay. And notice that the windows keeps, you know, the toolbars keep disappearing. I mean, that's how it works. Uh, that, that way it doesn't, you know, once you're done setting up, it just goes away and you can watch your video unadulterated. Okay. And uh, you can resize it here as such. Of course, if you have it smaller, it looks better. Okay. And then, of course, there's the full screen and all that over here. So that's the window side. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the Mac side. I'm just going to hide this and uh, you're looking at the Mac player now. Let me just close this for a bit. So the Mac player isn't free unfortunately. It's uh, $39 thereabouts and it's made by IO Data. and you might be wondering is it worth it? Well I, I, I should say that yes it is. Uh, it's a very well well developed product. Um, it has it does exactly the same thing as what the Windows counterpart does. All right, and uh, I think it's a little nicer. I'll show you in a bit. So I'm going to first connect to it. Hit connect here, and you get to see your different settings. All right, so of course there's one base station, so I just connect to that. Hit connect, and. Give it a while, and it'll come in. Notice how it fades out. So that's a pretty nice touch. And there you go. So I can, of course, make it louder or softer. And I, I can control it. I mean, I can use my default of volume control, or I can use the volume control that's in the player as well. All right. So same thing, same setup. You can also do full screen. Notice that the full screen really takes advantage of the entire resolution, so I think that's that's a score for the for the Mac part. All right, it looks pretty good. All right, so you click again and you get back the toolbar. You just hit this and it minimizes back to the window state. But here's a bonus: if you hit the minimize, it shrinks down to your dock, and guess what? It also plays in your dock. So that's a very nice touch. It's a very, very nice touch. Alright. So if you are deciding to buy this and you're still wondering whether or not this would be the best solution for it, um, for play shifting your video content, well, let's put it this way. If you have a Sony PSP, you definitely had to get this location free unit. Alright. Just add so much more tremendous value to it and Realistically speaking, you wouldn't always be with your computer to watch TV. You might be on the go, and this is where it rocks. You can watch it anywhere. So I'm just going to turn this thing on and show you in a bit a while how it looks like. So I'm going to kill that. Remember, it only lets me um, have one device connected at a time, so that's why I'm doing this. Now back here, I'm going to turn this on. And, um, well, I have a speaker system here that I bought some time ago on sale at Target. So I'm just gonna put it right here, okay? Let me just, it's a little tricky, but yeah, there you go. All right, so while I'm doing my work here, I get to get, uh, I get distracted by my TV, my little TV here. Um, all you have to do is, using firmware 2.7, all right, you get a little location-free player in here, right in your PSP. And once again, hit that. Now the way it connects, because it's wireless, I can have it just connected directly to the location-free unit without going through the network. Okay, 
So it's going to go through the location-free access point. Um, in that sense, because there's less uh, intermediaries, the quality should be better. So you can have a look and see for yourself. So I'm going to connect to location-free AP, which is access point. So it's connecting. All right, that's the IP. And there you go. Looks pretty all right. So same thing, if you hit this uh, square button here, you get the remote control, which you have to use the cursors to pick the numbers and all that. Okay. And you can also change the screen settings. I hit the triangle, get the settings. So you can change the size, the sound and everything. So different screen modes here, I'm just going to show you. This is the fill screen mode, it means you fill up the whole screen. This is the normal resolution. This is um, a little bigger. This is uh, full but cropped on the top and bottom. And then this is tr tr trying to squeeze everything in. So if you're watching a, um, uh, what's that, 14 by 9 resolution? Is it the 14 by 9 uh, uh, size of a screen, then like widescreen movies, then it'll fit here very nicely. All right. So, like so, see? It takes off the black bars, pretty nice. So I tend to watch like that, even though I sacrifice a bit of top and bottom on some shows, but it's nicer to have it all filled up. So yeah, there you go. This is how the location-free unit works, and I think it rocks. Um, hopefully I'll get to bring it outside soon and show you what it looks like.